This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. What's your blood pressure? What's your blood glucose? What else is going on? Well, we've got tools that monitor all of that wirelessly, and we'll find out more about that here from CES 2013. Sponsored in part by GoToMyPC. Use GoToMyPC from Citrix to turn any computer into your office computer. Visit GoToMyPC.com for a free 30-day trial and use the promo code PODCAST. Our CES coverage is also sponsored in part by GoDaddy.com. Get domain names, cloud hosting, and dedicated servers all easy to manage and configure. GoDaddy has all your web needs. Visit tpn.tv slash GoDaddy for special offers. Hi, Jamie Davis from Health Tech Weekly and the Tech Podcast Network here at tpn.tv and htweekly.com. You know, I'm here in the booth with Steve Wheeler from Ideal Life. My brain is fried. There's so much going on here at this conference. But uh, Steve, tell me a little bit about Ideal Life and, and maybe some of our audience is already using some of these tools. Could very well be. We're a fairly mature platform in a business-to-business -business model where we've been uh, selling to health plans, insurers, hospital groups, home care agencies for managing people with chronic conditions like congestive heart failure, COPD, diabetes, etc. So we've developed a complete end-to-end -end solution of wireless biometric monitoring devices like you see behind, going through a very low-cost gateway up to our software, which is a cloud-based collaborative care system. So it allows us to get real-time data that becomes actionable for sending back questions and getting survey data and building alerts and, and uh, interacting before people uh, have a, a visit to the ER or the hospital and reduce their costs of care. And that's such an important thing right now with the changes in CMS yeah. and uh, hospitals having having to limit readmission after they've sent somebody home. Home care has become increasingly important. Absolutely. Uh, Health care reform has been uh, a boom for our business. We've been doing this for a number of years. Nice steady growth, but it's exploded in the last six to twelve months uh, because, as you say, hospitals now are uh, getting penalized for having uh, readmissions of congestive heart failure and other conditions, and uh, they're all looking for this, accountable care organizations, uh, and uh, direct-to-consumer. We've just uh, made an announcement this morning that we're partnering with ADT, the home security company. They have six million members of uh, homes that we hope to penetrate in a direct-to-consumer model where you can monitor a family member, a caregiver, or self-manage. So we're very excited by the opportunities ahead uh, uh, and our uh, uh, growth that we're experiencing. And, and it really is important to monitor people day by day rather than just on their periodic visits to a doctor's office or even a home health nurse only visiting once or twice a week. It really monitoring them in between is so vital to making sure that they're doing what they need to do, that they understood instructions. Absolutely correct. So the more data you can get on somebody, the better. And so uh, getting daily or multi-readings a day just gives you better data to make uh, uh, clinical decisions from. And you're absolutely right. Uh, people just uh, getting the data when they go see their doctor is not enough or even seeing a home health nurse on an you know, irregular basis. So getting real-time data that's uh, uh, actionable uh, becomes very valuable and can definitely reduce costs significantly and improve outcomes. So. It's a win-win-win situation. Great. Now, we're going to be back in a minute, just talk a little bit more about availability with, uh, for the consumer model, where maybe somebody can get uh, ac access to this through ADT or other resources, and, and cost coming right up. You know, for many of us, when we're at CES or any other travel, so many of our aspects of our job are tied to our office computers, your network, your special programs, important files. You feel chained to the office just to be productive. Well, there is some good news for you out there. There is a better way. You know, if you're like me or anybody else here at Tech Podcast Network, you use GoToMyPC. It's a secure remote access tool from Citrix that turns any computer or tablet you have, even your smartphone, into your office computer. Now, with GoToMyPC, you can do a lot of things. You can access your network, use any program on your desktop, save, edit, send any file from anywhere. You won't need to carry that flash drive with you. You won't need to forget, worry about forgetting a file. It's just freedom. Freedom to work wherever and whenever you need to. Plus, GoToMyPC is so simple to use and it takes just a few minutes to set it up. 
Now I'm here in Las Vegas. My desktop computer is in Maryland, but I can access any file on my iPhone, my iPad, my laptop, open apps, send email, anything else, all while I'm here at CES. And that's all thanks to Citrix and GoToMyPC. And you can have that freedom and that peace of mind too. Now, my audience can try GoToMyPC free for 30 days. Visit GoToMyPC.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the promo code PODCAST. Then, download the free app to your mobile device. That's GoToMyPC.com. Try it free with the promo code PODCAST. So, we're back here with Steve at CES 2013, and we're in the Ideal Life booth looking at their wireless home healthcare products. but. Uh, all these tools are available now. They're available now on a business uh, model from a clinical provider. So at a uh, hospital might give it to the patient at discharge or a home uh, health agency might bring it out or a health plan might uh, send it to them to uh, uh, put in place to uh, uh, gather data in a, uh, a preventive manner, a proactive manner to keep them from going back into the hospital or needing uh, uh, excessive care. Uh, the direct -to consumer model is uh, just being piloted by our clients as they discharge someone from a program that they you know no longer have a financial interest in like a hospital regretfully only is concerned about 30 days uh, the 31st day the patient you know doesn't get rid of congestive heart failure it only uh, exasperates over time so they're uh, offering it to the family member to keep the devices keep the data going up and alerting either a third-party call center or the family member themselves. And so we're excited by that uh, opportunity. And soon there'll be a direct-to-consumer uh, uh, model that we'll be selling across the board. Do you have a, and a basic price point you're looking at for that? Yes, I mean today all the pro the products sell for around fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, then there's a monthly software as a service and data plan that uh, is running in the uh, ten to twenty dollars a month uh, range. We hope that uh, with volume it'll come down and uh, more services will be added to that. But not outside of the realm of other monthly services, oh, so absolutely. really right in the ballpark. Absolutely not. A personal emergency response system sells for $30, $35, $40. Uh, that's what our clinical system sells for. So uh, we definitely believe that there is a market for this, and uh, we're seeing tremendous interest out there to get this released. There's going to be opportunities for you to maybe monitor loved ones or just track your own health data through the information available through Ideal Life. And um, that's ideallifeonline.com. That is correct, ideallifeonline.com. And uh, yes, please uh, uh, let us know your interest and we'll let you know when and who has it available for uh, direct to consumer just as soon as it is available. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for checking out this episode of Health Tech Weekly. I'm Jamie Davis. You can find more at htweekly.com, also at the Tech Podcast Network. And don't forget our live coverage still going on here at CES over at tpn.tv.